Hey everyone, Michael here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add exponential moving averages onto your chart like a pro. Now, we're going to be using the TradingView platform just in case you guys couldn't tell. What you guys are first going to go over here and do is actually go up here to this indicators tab. It says indicators, metrics, and strategies, or it looks like a line chart on top of a bar chart. If you guys um, are using a larger monitor or maybe you guys have a wider screen because I have my, uh, my screen condensed right now, you may actually just see the word indicators. You see how it pops up right there. Sometimes you guys can see it, sometimes you can't. It really just depends on how large your monitor is, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on that once. After you go here, you're just going to type in EMA, okay? At the very, very top, you're going to see technicals, and right below that, you're going to see moving average exponential. Why do they call it that instead of exponential moving average? I don't know. Don't worry about it, okay? But what I think you guys should do is do a star right here and add it to your favorites. Then I want you guys to click on this three times, okay? One, two, three. Now, Here's where you guys start to have more options and more opportunities to find the best strategy for you. I'm going to click settings on the very top one right here. They're all going to be the same, maybe a slightly different color. You guys are going to see this type of frame once you guys hit the settings button. You're going to see time frame, length, source, offset, method, length, okay? All you guys have to worry about is length at this point, okay? So here's where you guys have, have some opportunities. If you guys are looking for longer term trades where you guys are going to be holding for days and days and days, you guys are going to use this following setup, okay? You're going to be going to 20, leave it on chart, you want to go over to style, and you want to choose a color that you're going to remember being the 20. For me, I go with green, and I make sure the line is thick. So green and thick. Go to OK. You go to the second one. After you've put down 20, you're going to go over here, and you're going to do 50. All right? Leave everything else same as is. Go to style and make this light blue, again, making it thick. Get out of that. Hit OK. One more time. We're going to come over here to inputs. Now, after 50, we're going to be doing 200. Now we go to style once more, and we choose yellow and thick. Now, you guys can choose whatever colors you want to. This is your setup. But you have to just remember, these are the settings you guys are going to be using in the future, so don't mess with them too much or it may confuse you, okay? After that, you have one position right here for longer-term asset trading, longer-term trading. This is the setup you guys want to use for exponential moving averages. However, if you guys want to do something else more like maybe you guys just want to do day trading and not swing trading, this is what you guys are going to do. We're going to get rid of all these very fast. We're going to go back over here, and you're going to see it's right over here in settings because we put it as our favorite. One, two, and you guys are only going to be using two. Now, the two different types I'd recommend for you guys, this is more of what you guys really prefer and maybe which one is actually working the best for the chart you're looking at, so it's better to memorize both of these. Is Let's go over to inputs. The first two is going to be eight. Let's go to style. We can have this being green again. Normally the lowest one for me is green. Right there. And we hit OK. And let's go over here. The next one is going to be 20. So 8 and 20 for the EMA. Now we're going to go over here look at the charts the same. Let's go to the blue. Let's make sure this is thick as well. And there we go. Hit OK. Now this is more if you're using the 15 minute time frame, the 5 minute time frames. And let's go over here very fast. And you can see how today Tesla is riding this up as a level of support. So if we break down, that may be an opportunity for you to actually uh, well, do a short, buy a put, or just uh, scale out of your position, okay? Now, the one more thing we could do is the 5 and the 10. So we have 8. Let's just replace that with the 5, make it nice and easy. And over here, let's replace that 20 with the 10. And there you go. And we can see if this one's working out the same. So you can see the one right here, the five, it's not really working out too well for us. It worked out a little bit, not the best though, but it looks like this one right here, the 10, a little bit more reliable and we'll see what happens over the next few minutes, okay? So you can see if you go to the five minute chart, it's really not doing anything. Preferably, this looks like it works best on the 15 minute chart. And as you guys get more comfortable with whatever stocks you guys pick, you guys will be able to see, whoa, I just wanna use this particularly with the, five, uh, with the 15 minute chart, maybe the 30 minute chart, you never know, okay? You can see how it's working okay over here, once it starts to show some weakness, though, especially uh, during the actual trading day, not pre-market, you can see how it starts to tank, and then that turns into a level of resistance. Once you break out above it, oh my gosh, we're back to being okay again. That's how the way you got to think about it a little bit. But I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Um, take your time with this. Practice. Do some back testing. You want to see which ones are working best for you. But remember, 8 and 20, 5 and 10, or the simple ones if you guys are going a little more long-term, 20, 50, and 200.